Welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today I'm going to do a quick review on a couple of products that I received and now Diesel's going to start whining. <laughs> anyway, the first thing I wanted to share with you was just a pencil box that I re received or that I got. It is called the Home Cube and it is um, a very simple pencil box. Um, it's got a couple spots here that you can put pens or pencils in. There's a little lift pocket over here that you can put stuff in. Spot for maybe erasers or whatever up here. And then you've got a spot over here where you can place things. And there's a divider as well that you can remove completely. Now I've tried to put a couple of brushes in. Most of my brushes, they're too long. Um, but I am able to fit some of them in here and I would probably rather put them in this. Actually, I use my travel brushes when I'm out and about anyway, so that's not an issue. The only thing that I would take with me uh, that wouldn't be a travel brush would be my rigger. Um, and I could just set that inside there. But uh, pencils, pens, things like that fit very well uh, without any issue. You can fit them in here with no problem. There's a ton of space. If you were going to be doing a marker uh, drawing plein air or something like that you could put your markers in here and take them with you uh, but oh even one of my wash brushes fits in here just fine I just wanted to show you what all I could fit in this home cube and these would be things that I might take out to um, go plein air painting so I wanted to show you the options I put all my travel brushes in here and they all fit nicely. They're not loose, wiggling around. So that fit great. I also have my palette, my little business card size palette, although it's thicker. I put that in there. I think you could probably fit it sideways too. I didn't try that. Uh, let me do that real quick. Yes, it does fit sideways. I had to put my camera down because I'm holding it right now. But you could fit a business size card palette business card size palette, either horizontally or vertically, it fits. I put my magnets in here. You could also put erasers or whatever you want to put in there. Uh, so I've got everything set there. Also, I wanted to show you that you can fit other palettes in here, like my pencil, car my pencil box palette fits nicely in here without any problem. Uh, it's the length of pencil. And then I've also got my masking fluid. I've got a water brush. I've got a pen. I've got a pencil. I can fit a ton more. I could also take this out if I wanted to. And I could use my other palettes. Um, this one fits perfectly in here. Um, so I could fit that in. Let me move some stuff around. But there are a lot of options with this. So, And then you can still zip this shut. Whoop this slid around. I need to put this over here. There we go. Put that like that and I can still zip it shut without any problem. So can't do it one handed though. So anyway there are lots of options with this home cube and you can fit everything that you need right in that single single thing. And if you're using regular brushes I would suggest using a brush taking a brush carrier, brush holder with you for that because you might ruin your brushes and something like this. I wanted to show you that uh, real quick. It's really nice. It's on Amazon and it's called the Home Cube. H-O-M-E-C-U-B-E. -E. I will try to remember to link it, but because I don't have internet yet, um, I'm editing my videos exporting my videos and then I go out to the internet and I upload them so quite often I forget to post links and I apologize for that this is a temporary issue and I will get back to it once I have internet it's a lot easier for me to remember those things because I have an order that I do them in so please bear with me that's why I'm telling you where you can find these you can find this on Amazon and it is called 
the home cube. So um, if you want that, go ahead and grab it. It's not very expensive at all. The next thing I wanted to show you is a brush that I have been waiting almost two years for. And it is by Winsor & Newton. It's their professional watercolor sable pointed rounds. And uh, on the website and on their packaging, it says Kalinske, but then this just says sable. It doesn't say just red sable. So hopefully these are Kalinske, but these are pointed rounds. Let me get this wet so you can see. Um, I contacted Windsor & Newton over a year ago and they said they were having problems getting the sable. So um, I don't know if they went with a new supplier or what. Now I had a number five, but then there were none, no others in stock. So I looked later and then there were no fives in stock. There were no smaller ones in stock. But these pointed rounds are really nice, but um, they're sable. So they are a flimsier brush. But this is a nice brush, and I like the ergonomic style of the, the um, handle. It's fat, thin, fat, and then it goes down again to this point. So it's nice. It feels good. The skinny part rests on your hand, and then the bigger part you can use for painting, and it works out very well. Um, so I really like this brush. Uh, it does hold a ton of water, though. So if you like a stiff synthetic brush, this is not the brush for you, but I do like it. Now, my third product was something that I actually saw on Amazon. I'm sorry I'm flicking my hair. Uh, I apologize to the person who hates that I flick my hair. I think she's London 59. Um, it does not fit behind my ears. It's too short. So anyway, <laughs> and I don't want to be on my ears. Um, the other day, I got a comment from this person about my hair. She hated that I was fixing my hair. And basically what I was doing was going like this every now and then to brush my hair out of my eyes. It was an old video. My hair was straightened at the time. And uh, she said, she was not very nice about how she said it. She said she wanted to just take that chunk of hair and snip it off with a pair of scissors or something like that. And... I went off on her, you guys. I'm sorry. I know you guys say ignore the comments, but I will not tolerate comments like that. First of all, I'm not a hair and beauty channel. I'm an art channel. So leave my freaking hair alone. Leave my wrinkles and my age spots alone. Leave it all alone and focus on the art portion. Do you know that I have never once ever seen a comment on a male art channel? Only on females. These women attack females like crazy. But nobody ever does anything to the men when their hair is out of place or when their beard is too long and they didn't shave for their video or whatever the case may be. So why attack women? I just, I don't get it. I hope it stops. And I told this person that I won't tolerate it. So if I keep getting nasty comments, I just block you. So if you're unable to comment on my videos, that's why. If you left me a nasty comment, I will block you. But back to my next review. This is something that I found on Instagram, and I found it very interesting. It was a drawing board, and you can get it left-handed or right-handed. You can tell them where you wanted the hole for your water cup to go. And it looks like this. I've got water in here right now, but and it's a little pink. But it looks like this. They come in different sizes. This is the size large. I believe it's... Um, I don't know, 13 by 16 or something. To me, that's perfect size for traveling. It's very lightweight. It's almost like a laminate. It's made by Woodward and Father. Plein Air Provisions is what it's called. Now, I do like this board, although there are a couple things. It's very flimsy, so that when you get your paint and your water on here, the board tends to bend, although I'm getting used to that. Um, it's meant to be held this way long ways, Sometimes I like to hold it this way, short ways, except then I want my water cup on the other side. So what I do is I turn it around to the back. Now the back is this shiny, bumpy plastic. And the front is the drawing board that's flat surface. Um, but when I'm painting in a book, I can flip this over, put my cup in this side, and then have my palette up here somewhere and my book along here. So the one thing, though, a couple things that I found. 
good things. This water cup is very small. For me, it's not a big deal because I can just take a little bottle of water with me and refill. Or if I'm near the lake, I'll just refill it in the lake or the river, whatever. The lake is uh, very clean water. Uh, the river, I'm not so sure about. But um, you got to be careful when you take water out of a source like that because if it's dirty, it can contaminate your paints. But I've never had a problem with that. So the Great Lakes are pretty clean. But anyway, when I use it this way, um, I just... I magnetize my palette to the top. Let me grab something and I'll show you how I use it. Okay, I've got a few of my favorite palettes. This palette is aluminum and I do like this palette. It holds a ton of colors and I have an extra little well in here that I put in here. It's very dirty because I just used it, but um, this one I'd have to clip on. So I use one of these kinds of bullnose or bulldog clips or whatever they're called. And I can just clip it to the top of my board. And then, here, let me move all my other stuff. And then I have room down below. I'm holding it up away from this. Then I have room down below for my book. But it gets a little crowded with a palette this size. Then I also have smaller palettes that I like to use. One of them is a handmade palette. You all have seen it before. I use these square magnetic clips. I flip them upside down. They're actually refrigerator clips and they're supposed to face this way, but I flip them upside down so they're magnet side up and put a couple on my board. And then I have this palette that I made with um, a Stadler pencil box and it is stainless steel. So I just put my colors in here and this is actually the revised um, whatever it is the perfect palette or whatever it's called by Daniel Smith and I took it I'm sweating because I'm by the fire here Whew. Um, I took all the colors I liked out of it and I changed a couple of them around I believe but that was it um, so then with this palette I have a lot more room to put paper, pads, whatever. Now right here I have my journal. This journal is a five by eight. The cover's a little bit larger. So when I'm journaling, like today I was journaling on this, um, I can open my book up and I've got plenty of room. And that's what I was doing. And you can see I still have plenty of room here to do my work without any issues. So, um, I don't have a problem with that. I usually use the five by eight landscape books, but then also I have these other palettes. Now this one uh, is a double-sided business palette. I got this from wellspring.com, wellspringgift.com. Um, I got it at discount when I reviewed it a couple years ago. But because these are magnetized wells, I can use a magnet on them and they do hold all right. Um, enough that I can use the palette and it doesn't slide around too much, but it is not a stainless steel palette. So it does make it a little bit more difficult to use, but I can do that as well. Now, if I want to use it the long way, um, I would use the smooth side if at all, you know, if possible. I just like to have my water on the left hand side because I'm a lefty. Uh, putting my palette up here. I can do that. Now you notice there's a lot of brush holes. There's a lot of brush holes along here. I find that these brush holes are not very conducive to any of the brushes I'm really using. Uh, if I have more than one brush that I want to put out, I don't have more than one hole that will fit my brushes. So I find that to be a problem with this board. But for me, that's not an issue really because I don't like to put my brushes in holders. I'm afraid I'm gonna drop them in the grass when I'm painting outdoors and I don't wanna lose them. But when I put my brushes in here, my little uh, liner, I can fit in this one and that's fine. This mop brush, I can fit in the one next to it, and it's fine. But then when I go to use my Winsor & Newton brush, no matter which one I put it in, either it's 
the holes are too big or they don't fit well at all. It's too high and I'd lose my brush. Over on this side, these holes are huge. I really don't have any plein air brushes I use that are that big. And then if I want to use another brush like that is similar to the, to the thickness of my liner brush, I can't fit them in there. And then I just have brushes that go through. So there's only one hole that will fit that size brush, which is a very common size. And then one hole for this size. And this one is one that puffs out at the bottom. But um, I find that the brush holder holes are not the best for the brushes that I use anyway. But it wasn't a deal breaker for me. That wasn't why I bought the board. I bought the board because I wanted the water holder. Now, here's something else you can do. You know how much I like using my big uh, water bottle that is a pill vial. I use this all the time and I love this because it's so long. I had a stainless steel washer that I put on the bottom and I always magnetized it to the top, but occasionally I'd bump it and the magnet would let loose and the water would spill all over my book, all over me or whatever. But this hole is perfect and it fits my big water bottle. It also fits the medium size. So they're the same width, but they're smaller. So if you have a pill bottle that's this size, I haven't taken all the gummy off of this yet, but um, if you have one this size, then it also fits in here as well. And they're just slightly wider at the top, so they don't push all the way through. It's perfect. And I like these better because they hold a little more water and I can get my brush in there and get it cleaned out real well without rubbing my bristles on the bottom of the cup, which I don't like to do. But anyway, so that is the other option and I'm very happy that I have this option, that that, that little cup fit and this one fits as well. When you take the lid off of this, um, the teeth or whatever it's called holds the cup in place. So it comes down flush. And, you know, this was enough water. I used it this morning to do my little uh, holly berries in my book, and that was fine. Um, just be careful when you put the cap on because it won't screw on all the way while you're not holding it. But anyway, this is made by Woodward and Father. I found them on Instagram. Um, they are, I think it was through Etsy is where I got this. Yes, I believe it was Etsy and it's called Woodward and Father. And um, look them up on Instagram and they'll have a link to their website that'll take you right over there. So that is it for today. I'm gonna get out and plein air paint very soon, but with Christmas approaching, it is kind of hard and um, I'm gonna have a lot to do so but I wanted to get out and do some plenty of painting so I'll be out and doing that very soon and I will use this board and you'll see me using it but in the meantime if you want one these are reasonably priced I think I spent 30 35 dollars on it you get the cup and you get the holder or you get the the board and uh, the magnets are not included but you can tell them where you want placement the board's meant to be worked this way, so you can tell them whether you want the cup on the left or on the right, depending on whether you're left or right-handed. And if you're right-handed, you may want the cup on the right so that your palette is on the left. I just like to have mine on the left. That's the way I've always worked when I paint. So um, that's what I asked for. But anyway, that's it. Everybody have a terrific day and I will talk to you soon. If this video was helpful for you or you liked it, please leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe. And also find me over on Instagram at Sharon Cullen Art so you don't miss anything else. Take care.